We wanted so much here and had so little. And we had uh, talents and abilities here that weren't really being realized. And I thought that was a tragic shame. And that's uh, basically what uh, motivated me to want to see some change take place here. In 1951, Barbara Johns, then a 16-year-old junior and niece of activist Reverend Vernon Johns, decides to organize a student strike at the Robert Rusa Moulton High School. There wasn't any fear. I just felt, uh, this is your moment, seize it. Barbara had decided, she and the other student leaders had decided that this is what they were going to do. They were going to get, get a representative from each grade and have that person be responsible for telling the other students. And she emphasized it was about how uh, the conditions were very bad at the school. And, uh, you know, she needed everyone's cooperation and she realized this was a surprise, but they had to keep it that way so that it wouldn't leak and that uh, only a few people knew about it. Barbara started out, of course, and then we just talked and told them, strike the school. And it, it became a chairing session. What do you want to do? We want to strike. When do you want to strike? Today, you know, and all this. So <laughs> it, it really was a rallying situation. I remember sitting in my seat and sort of cowering down because I couldn't believe it, first of all. The first reaction I had was fear. I thought, oh my goodness, what's going to happen to us now? Everyone, a lot of people were scared. Some of Barbara's closest friends were scared to death for her. They said, why did you do that? She says, we have to make a change. And I mean, right now, you know, Barbara was very dynamic when she wasn't quiet. The students marched down the street to the superintendent's office. We come in the office and this poor secretary almost had a heart attack. So she goes, tells Mr. McElwain <laughs> that, that these students are here. So we go in his office. He promised he was going to rain down the wrath of God on all of us for what we were doing. And our initial parents reaction were going was to cut off the economic livelihood of folk, and that of course was going to bring them in line. And you know, Mr. Jones, the principal, was fired. Mama was fired. And Daddy was fired. Our cross was burned in our yard after the school strike. 